<laughs> yeah, it's recording. Um, so I just recorded a video on some things like that need changing in the church, like fear, growth, um, you know, spiritual growth, the need for spiritual growth, the need for elimination of fear, etc. Um, I wanted to add to that uh, another little video here on busyness. Um, because we are approaching the holiday season, but, you know, it's been longer than the holiday season. I've noticed an increase um, in the church in general of just, like, busyness. Um, busyness with, you know, serving in ministry, busyness in doing this and doing that, you know. You know what? I know life is hectic. I believe me, I know life is hectic. Um, and... I have not been the best at, you know, uh, myself at, you know, <sighs> like, because everybody, you know, once you hit 30 and above, you know, there is a lot of work. Um, it's not so much as social in your, you know, as in your 20s, etc. when you're still in school and you don't have that really full-time job responsibility, etc. Um, but, you know, we, we do need to make time for each other um, to, to discern and to, um, to choose our friends wisely, even in the church, you know, because there are different personalities. You may or may not mesh personality-wise. You may clash, you know, and you could just agree to disagree, you know. So, what I'm saying is, you know, choose your friends wisely, even in the church. And it, you know, it's okay to, you know, stop. You know, I've had to myself, you know, like, step back, reflect on what this or that person is saying. Um, their mentality, their, where their heart is at, and, you know not just rushing into relationships, not just rushing into friendships, um, you know, but to really, uh, choose, you know, and, you know, people may see you as picky or, you know, put some other name to it. No, it's, it's showing wisdom. Okay. Like, you know, because you're investing time in somebody and, you know, is, is this, fruitful, you know, is it, is it going to be fruitful for both of you? Um, you know, uh, not just you, but the other person, um, as well. So choose, you know, choosing your friends wisely is a good thing. Um, so, but the church tends to be so busy because they're ministry driven, they're church driven, they're growth driven, they're this and that driven, but they're not, um, what is that word, begets, you know, umtm begets this, or, you know, so-and-so beget, begot so-and-so, um, it's like, it's like the self-centeredness begets busyness or something like that um <laughs> and it's it's not funny I just I'm spouting out my thoughts here um but it's a serious problem and so especially as we head into this holiday season with you know Christmas and all um and having just passed Thanksgiving um I think a lot of us could do with um, some more quiet time, some more reflection time, um, some more prayer time, and just to, uh, pinpoint, um, with God's help, you know, what is it that is making us so busy? Is it fear-driven? Is it, you know, what is driving us to be so busy as to neglect the relationships that God has around us um, that could very well be a blessing and very well, you know, people say what we need to hear or, you know, us sharing something that would bless them. Um, 
Jesus had a ministry, um, but he was not ministry driven. Um, you see time and time again his patience with his disciples. Um, you know, he had friendships with all 12 of his disciples. Um, so, and, and people outside, Mary and Martha and Lazarus, you know, he had friends, you know, that, um, and it's important, you know, iron sharp, iron sharpens iron, uh, as the proverb says. And so it's very important to have, um, solid friends friends who are solid in the word, solid in their love for the Lord, with their deep, deep love for the Lord in the church. Um, and I just see so much of the enemy coming against the church, coming against relationships and personal spiritual growth. I just got to say it, you know, there's been a plague. I, I almost want to call it a plague, you know, Maybe there's a better term for it, but it seems to me like a plague. You know, this busyness, this pride, this fe pride, fear, busyness, like, gosh. Um, so, anyways, I just want to add that in. And, you know, in this holiday season, I know that you have a lot of gifts to check off the list, etc., etc. But just take some time. Breathe. You know, just breathe and <laughs> let the endorphins in in your brain, let Jesus in your spirit, and you know, um, don't. I encourage you not to go forth without him, um, and not to neglect the people around you with how busy you are within the church um, because your enemy our enemy is using that to destroy relationships so be aware keep being blessed alright bye bye